Hey, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can print your photos at home without wasting photo paper. G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm in the expert mode in Photoshop Elements to help you with a common question. A lot of you want to print photos at home on photo paper that's say A4 size and you don't know how to do it. So let's show you a couple of ways to do it. I'll show you one way that gives you a lot of control over how your photos are placed. All you need to do is click File, New, Blank File, choose Document Type International Paper oops, and then choose A4 and click OK. Then this is an A4 sheet of paper. Now we could just drag our photos onto this but first off we are actually going to save it and call it A4 template and then we're going to do some magic with instant photo spots. Go to your shape tool or press the U key on your keyboard then click on the shape rectangle. We're going to choose from this drop down in the tool options of a fixed size and we're going to select 6 by 4 inches. So we're just going to click once and we've got a, six by, a 4 by 6 photo spot. Click again. Now we're going to add a couple of 3 by 4s and we'll just change the colour as well. And then we click and click again. Now you might be saying, well, Melissa, this isn't a very efficient use of space, but wait. We can get these two 4x6s and we'll just put them right up next to each other. We'll go to Image, Rotate, Layer, 90 degrees left, and then we can fit two. They'll just fit on an A4 piece of paper. And then we've got these two three by fours as well. Now you can stick any kind of photos that you want in there. So let's have a look. I'm going to open up some photos I have. Okay, so now we've got some photos and let's just drag them on. So the first one we want is this one. Now this photo needs to go horizontally. So we're going to click Image Rotate Layer 90 degrees left. Go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask and now you'll see the magic is happening. See that photo? It's within that black box. So let's just move it around till it fits. That's probably the best we can do there. And I'm going to choose another photo to add. Let's go for this one. So we're going to click and drag it on. Control Shift G and we can even rotate it 90 degrees. So then I'll just resize it. There we go. It covers up all that black there. And we're going to choose a couple more photos for the small, small spots. Click on the spot we want, drag the photo on top, Control shift g resize it to fit and the last one, so I think that one's cute isn't it? And you can also drag the photo down onto your collage sheet if that works too. Control alt g and resize that looking good. So there we have it, our four photos that will take up the best use of that A4 sheet of paper. Now of course you have another option, you could use non-standard sizes or anything like that. But if you want to do that, you can always type in any size that you want in this fixed size thing, or you can do an unconstrained shape, that means you can just take it to whatever size you want it to be. But I really enjoy using this fixed size because it's just easy to know you get the exact 
size, you're not mucking around with rulers or anything like that. So I hope this has been helpful and if you want to print your photos just be sure that you click on the file you want to print in this photo bin then go to file print and then you'll see this picture and then you'll just click on actual size to print it at actual size and that way you'll be making the most of your photo paper. Of course you can always fill in those with little skinny photos or, or anything else you want to print. Now the other option for printing your photos on an A4 sheet of paper is to do it in organizer. So you just select the photos you want to print and then click file print and then you just select the sizes of the prints that you want to print on your sheet of paper. So you can um, print two five by sevens, two four by sixes, one eight by ten, multiple two by two and a bit. Again, and then you can also do custom if you would like to. So if you want something easy and you're not that worried about using up every last bit of your photo paper and you're not fussed about the particular cropping, you can just browse through here to see how that's happened. And you know, if you want to, you can move those photos around in the boxes. Um, but that's your other quick and easy method of printing. So I hope you found that information helpful. Now if you're keen to try this um, system where you can actually just create shapes and pop your photos in, I'll have this template as a downloadable at digiscrabhq A4 template. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.